Welcome everyone, including any elected officials who may be joining us. My name is Sam Jumber and I am the Florida Department of Transportation Project Manager. We will now begin the public hearing for State Road 500A, US 441 Intersection Safety Improvements in Tavares, Florida. It is 5.45 p.m. on Thursday, November 5th, 2020. The financial project identification number for this project is 4435071-1. As a reminder, this public hearing is being recorded. This hearing is being held to give all interest, interested persons the opportunity to understand the State Road 500A slash US441 intersection design project and to share their concerns with FDOT. The feedback and public input received will be included in the public hearing record. A copy of the presentation and various handouts are available on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443507-1. A recording of this public hearing will be posted to the website by November 9th, 2020. The public hearing will consist of a project presentation followed by public testimony. Public participation is encouraged and solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns related to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, the FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by phone at 386-943-5367 or by email at jennifer.smith, the number two, at dot.state.fl.us. Or you may contact our statewide district or Title VI coordinator, Jacqueline Paramore, by phone at 850-414-4753 or by email at jacquelline dot P-A-R-A M-O-R-E at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedures in any prompt and courteous manner. The hearing is being held to afford persons the opportunity to express their views regarding the safety improvements at the State Road 500A and U.S. 441 intersection in accordance with related state and federal regulations. This public hearing was advertised using several techniques, including emails to elected officials and agency partners, letters mailed to property owners and tenants within at least 300 feet of the project's right-of-way, advertisements in the Lake Sentinel and Florida Administrative Register, notices posted on the FDOT Public Notices website, and a news release that was emailed to local media outlets. The project is located within the city of Tavares in Lake County and focuses on the intersection of State Road 500A and US 441. There are three signalized intersections located at State Road 500A and US 441, which is this project. Just south of the project limits at State Road 500A and North Duncan Drive and east of the project at US 441 and North Duncan Drive. In this area, State Road 500A runs north-south through the project intersection and has four travel lanes that are currently undivided. US 441 runs east-west through the intersection. It has six existing travel lanes divided by a raised median which will remain as is through the intersection. Lake Express provides bus service in the area. Route 1 has a bus stop on the north side of US 441, just west of the intersection with State Road 500A. 
The Tavli Trail is located along the south side of US 441 and turns southward following the west side of State Road 500A. The need for this design project was identified in the intersection safety study that was completed in June 2018. From 2012 through 2016, there were 62 crashes at this intersection with 17 injuries and no fatalities. The study determined there was a number of crashes that involved left turns from northbound State Road 500A to westbound US 441. The study also determined that several of the incidents occurred on wet pavement. Based on the crash history and trends, the study recommended that safety improvements are needed at State Road 500A and US 441 intersection. This is how the intersection looks today. Safety improvements proposed along State Road 500A as you are approaching the intersection include the realignment of the left turn lanes on northbound State Road 500A to slow vehicles traveling turning onto westbound US 441, the addition of a second dedicated left turn lane, and constructing a raised median to separate the left turn lanes from the southbound lanes on State Road 500A, as shown in the red oval. All lanes will be milled and resurfaced. Along with these geometry changes, a high friction surface treatment or HFST will be applied to help increase surface friction for motorists, especially during wet weather and enhance safety. The crosswalk markings will also be enhanced through the intersection. Along the east side of State Road 500A, the existing sidewalk ends just south of US 441 and picks back up at the southern intersection of State Road 500A and North Duncan Drive. The design for this project includes filling in the sidewalk gap as shown on this graphic, thus creating a continuous path for pedestrians between the two intersections. Now let's review the roadway features or typical section for State Road 500A. The existing typical section shown on the left includes an undivided roadway with four travel lanes with each lane being 12 feet wide, one designated left turn lane and one designated combined through and left turn lane, a 12 foot shared use path on the west side, and no sidewalk along most of the east side. The proposed typical section shown on the right includes an additional designated left turn lane, a raised median, and the addition of a six foot sidewalk along the east side. The improvements shown here tonight were closely coordinated with local stakeholders throughout the design process. The design of this project is expect, expected to be completed in the spring of 2021 with the construction anticipated to begin in the fall of 2021. No additional right-of-way will be needed for the intersection safety improvements. This hearing presentation and other files, project files may be viewed by visiting the project website page at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash four four three five zero seven dash one. On this site, you will find the presentation slides, the public hearing handout, which has the typical sections and the design concept and links, uh, links to submit comments to the project team. 
The recording of tonight's public hearing will be placed on the website by November 9th, 2020. If you have any questions or would like more information about the project, you may contact me, Sam Jumber, by phone at 386-943-5244 or by email at samuel.jumber, J-U-M, B-E-R at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S. You may also send comments to me by mail at Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, MS2-542, Deland, Florida, 32720. If DOT values your input, and there are several ways you may submit your comments with the project team, please note that we will be responding to all submitted questions and comments in writing after the hearing. Tonight, if you are participating in person, you may share your comments two different ways, by submitting a completed comment form and placing it in the comments box before you leave, or verbally, during the public testimony period. If you wish to speak, please be sure to check that box on the sign-in card at your seat and turn it into the venue host during the break. If you are attending tonight's hearing online, you may submit a written comment or a verbal comment. To submit a written comment, use the questions tab on the control panel. The questions tab is on the right side of your screen. Just click on the tab and you can type inside the box. Please note that the audience will not be able to see what you have typed in. However, any written comments or questions provided will become part of the public hearing record. If you wish to make a verbal statement, click on the questions tab and type in your name, followed by I want to speak. When it's your turn to speak, the host will unmute your microphone first, and then you need to unmute your microphone before you begin to speak. If you are joining us by telephone in listen-only mode, please contact me directly after the hearing by phone at 386-943-5244 or by email at samuel.jumber, J-U-M-B-E-R, at dot.state.fl.us. There are also several opportunities for you to submit comments to, for you to submit your comments with the project team after the public hearing. You may complete a comment form and send it to me by mail at Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, MS 2-542, Deland, Florida, 32720, or by email at samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl.us. Also, while visiting the project website page, cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4435-07-1, you may submit your written comments or questions using the links provided. FDOT welcomes comments throughout the project. All comments postmarked or emailed by November 19th, 2020 will become part of the official public hearing record for this project. Remember, all comments matter regardless of submitted format. We will now take a short break before we begin the public testimony portion of the hearing. Online participants who would like to speak and have not yet signed up, please do so by going to the questions tab and typing in your name, followed by I want to speak. If you wanna make a verbal statement in person, please make that note on your sign-in card at your seat and hand it to the project team member.
It is now 6.01 p.m. and we are now beginning the public comment portion of the hearing. This is when the project team listens to your statements and comments about the State Road 500A slash US441 intersection design project. All comments and questions are being recorded and will respond to all in writing after the public hearing. We will begin with the individuals who are attending the hearing in person. We have two speakers who have requested to speak tonight and we'll begin with Mr. Smith. Before you share your comments, uh, please state your name and address and be sure you talk into the microphone. You can just stand at this distance like I am right now. Uh, we wanna make sure that we pick up your comments for the video recording. You will have three minutes to make your statement. And as we follow social distancing guidelines, Mr. Jordan, if you could wait to come up to the microphone until Mr. Smith is seated, that would be great. Mr. Smith, it's all yours. I've got questions mostly, not so much comments. So where is the appropriate questions? You can go ahead and ask questions and we'll submit responses okay. to you in writing after the well, first of all, I believe you said that ends the spring of 2021 and starts the fall of 2021. So which is it? I think you made a misspeak. Is it 2022 or two, it starts in 2020? The first date is the design and then the second one's for construction started. Okay, so it'll start in 2021 and end in 2022. You said spring of 2022, right? How long does the project take the construction? I don't care about it. We'll have to we'll review the how long it takes. Well, what what do you guess? Three three months, three weeks, six it, months. We'd have to go back and look at that to be helpful so we can give you a different idea. Well, I mean that's an obvious question. I have a business there, so I think you should be prepared for it. Um, whose idea was this? Why is this necessary? I'm not aware there's been any more problems. This is the second redesign you guys have done there. And uh, I'm just curious as to why this is a priority. I was formerly on the Capital Fields Facilities Advisory Committee for Lake County. And, and I know this is a state deal. There's a lot more pressing transportation issues in Lake County than a turn lane that people drive too darn fast going around when it's wet uh, to be protecting stupid people from bad driving habits. Uh, so I'm just wondering why this is a priority. Which guy in Tallahassee thought this was a great idea? Or was it someone to land? So we'll give, provide you a written statement okay, good. response after. And uh, are you going to be doing this at night or is it going to be during the daytime? Or? We'll provide you a response to that. Okay. Well, that's, that's my basic concerns okay. and comments because uh, as you probably already know, I have a business in the corner that will be affected and Jim has a restaurant which will be affected as not only during uh, weekdays but on weekends as well. Okay. And Mr. Smith, mm -hmm. before you step away, oh. you could state your name and address. Okay. My name. Uh, my name is Ralph Smith. I'm the uh, owner of Lake Tire and Auto at 812 West Burley Boulevard in Tiberias, Florida. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Mr. Jordan, if you'd like to approach the microphone. Either way, whatever Make sure you state your name yeah. and address before you speak. My name is uh, James D. Jordan. I have uh, the uh, Fish Camp uh, uh, restaurant at Lake Eustis at 901 Lake Shore Boulevard, and uh, which is right would be uh, affected by this dramatically, as we uh, we are on the corner of, nine, uh, of U.S. Highway 41 and the 500A extension. Um, you know, I'm thankful to the DOT. We are thankful to the DOT for for uh, putting up the concrete barrier in March and April of uh, 2018. Uh, it was uh, um, a to well executed project, and uh, it really solved really the problems we had at that corner. Because uh, uh, prior to that, uh, to that is many people know that we were the place where the cars would go in the lake, and the fact that the cars would would be able to go off the road. Was the main was really the main problem, and and uh, and I'm familiar with some of this project because a, uh, a scientist from the DOT explained it at length to me. Of a spent about 45 minutes explaining to me a, a couple of years ago uh, when they were uh, uh, looking to do the uh, to whether to do the 
barrier or to do this or both. And uh, I know I do remember that the barrier was something in the vicinity of $150,000 to do. And uh, this with the friction and the extra lane was about, uh, it could be upwards to a million dollars. It's quite an expensive project. And we really don't see the need, as Ralph said, this, the other projects in the, in the, in the county, the, the problem was the cars going into the lake. And, and we, uh, and we had, had an issue with that. The first year we were open, uh, you know, 17 to 18, we were you know, walking on eggshells, wondering, you know, worrying about the cars and, and regularly cars would go into that fence. And some would, uh, again, two cars went into the, uh, over into the lake. And um, and we had to go rescue them, and and uh, uh, and, and it was, uh, but it was very nerve wracking because we were always worried that somebody would go in there, you know, in three in the morning when we're not there. We had a motion camera uh, actually uh, focused on it, and uh, it was a very that was a real problem. And since then, it's really been solved. I mean, we haven't uh, it, that turn lane that, that's really not wouldn't be that all that uh, that busy, uh, and it's it's just. Uh, um, you know, we we haven't had really any any issues. Of course, there will be people who run red lights, uh, and the problem with the people, the, the cars going into the lake, where it was always bald tires. And I remember talking to that scientist uh, for so, uh, a long time, and and I kept asking him, well, how about bald tires? I mean, he was talking about friction. You know, so you, you would be your car would you you would you would feel you know a, a friction as you're turning the corner, and maybe that would granted that might help. Uh, which can't hurt, but the fact is that that the uh, that when I said, well, ball tires would that would that still help with ball tires? They said, no, there's nothing we can do about ball tires, and except put up a concrete barrier, and that has that is what they did, and that's been the problem. We haven't, you know, we've been resting pretty easy, you know, since then, and and uh, I, I I don't see the the need for this kind of a uh, you know a capital outlay for a project that's really not. Yeah, I mean, no, no one, you know, and, uh, Ralph and myself, and I've talked to the, uh, the, 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 the owner of the hair salon, uh, Kathy Burke. To, you know, she, she doesn't, you know, she, she doesn't see any, any need for it. And we also see just another disruption. We've had so many this year, and that's why we, you know, we, we've had the, the, we were shut down for the, the COVID-19, and uh, we, we were 50 percent, and now we, you know, looking at maybe next year. We'll have a shut, you know, another kind of shutdown. So we were just looking really to, to uh, just kind of try to convince them to. Uh, our our opinion is pretty unanimous amongst the business owners to really put this money towards something that's much more needed. Thank you, Mr. Jordan, and that's all the comments that we have here at the in-person venue. Okay. Um we do have one person online who's requested to speak. Mr. Hurst, I believe you are unmuted. If you'd like to make your comment again, please state your name and address um, before you make your comment. My name is Jatson Hurst. I live at 4216 Cornell Crossing, Kennesaw, K-E-N-N-E-S-A-W, Georgia. 30144 and the comment that I would like to make regarding the State Road 500A US 441 intersection safety improvements project in Tavers, uh, Lake County, Florida is that I think it's a really good idea that FDOT is going to be adding an additional left turn lane because by adding an additional left turn lane that will reduce traffic backups that would extend down to the street light with Duncan Drive. And I also think it's a really innovative idea to apply high friction surface treatment at the US 441 and uh, North and um, State Road 500A intersection because this will prevent, especially during rain events, this will prevent cars from slipping and sliding and losing traction as they go through the intersection and uh, potentially uh, crashing into the lake like the uh, 
like one of the other commenters said. Thank you, Mr. Hurst. If uh, just a reminder for those who are attending online, if you would like to make a comment, if you could please um, let me know using the question box. At this time, I don't have anyone else who's requested to speak. Thank you. We have nobody here in person else that needs to speak. We are now closing the public comment portion of the public hearing. Thank you for sharing your comments with us. As a reminder, the project information is available on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4435071-1. Also, you have until November 19th, 2020 to submit comments for inclusion in the public hearing record. You may complete a comment form and send it to me by mail at Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, MS 2-542, Deland, Florida, 32720 or send an email to samuel.jumber, J-U-M-B-E-R, at dot.state.fl.us, or call me at 386-943-5244. It is Sam, now... We did... Wait, Sam, don't close it yet, sorry. Um, we kind of jumped the gun a little bit. I did get one more request to speak, and I know we've officially closed it. Um, but is it okay to let this person make a comment? Go ahead. Yes. Okay, Councilman, uh, apologize if I don't say this right. Be we guess you are unmuted. Good afternoon. Thank you for the opportunity to present the question. My question is, I'd like to know what the life expectancy of the coding being proposed on that road is. Thank you very much. Um, we will be responding to all of the questions in writing after the hearing. Thank you. So we will definitely get back to you with that information. Appreciate that. Okay. Thank you, Sam. I don't have anyone else who's requested to speak. Thank you. It is now 6.14 p.m. and I officially closed the State Road 500A slash US441 intersection safety improvements public hearing. Thank you and have a good evening.